want to beat 2000 in chesscom so today you will learn how to do it hello everyone and welcome back my name is nitsan steinberg grandmaster in chess and for four months i started my youtube channel so i really recommend you to see my videos you can learn here so much about your skills how to develop your chess skills and improve your knowledge about the very interesting game chess so for the new viewers and also for the old ones i want to show you something very new to my channel are you ready come on let's do it together so i'm back i really appreciate if you like it so let's start with our um, lesson today we will play against the computer in chesscom with the rating of 2000 with the name of charles from england so let's try and let's try to understand how can i you know take the tips that we learned the last video in the last video how can we manage it into the game so i will try to do it and explain to you how my brain is working during the game so e4 c6 let's play the move d4 you know we centralize the pawns into the center and the d5 knight c3 because this pawn is under attack and we are taking it uh, for sure with the knight we develop an, a piece already knight f6 the knight is under attack we understand the threat uh, of our opponent we will take this knight he will take i assume with e yes he took it and now we would like to play the move bishop d3 but unfortunately the pawn on d4 will be weak so let's play the move c3 we will guard this pawn and the next move will play the move bishop to d3 with developing a bishop he will castle i think queen c2 we would like another development and also um to attack the pawn on h7 rook a check let's develop our knight knight e2 h5 okay so this is very interesting line that he um you know chooses to play i think now we need to stop and think what is our plan okay so h5 it's a little bit weakness for black and maybe my first option uh, my first idea is maybe to play h3 g4 in some ways uh, in the next moves Bef because if i will manage to 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 open the h file maybe it will be a checkmate around right so let's play maybe bishop e3 with castle with long castle of course and h3 g4 let's try it bishop to e3 we are developing another piece what can he play knight d7 okay i think overall we can uh, castle and now everything is protected right our pieces uh, developed and i think h3 now let's go for our plan because all our pieces already um, you know developed our rook uh, connected so h3 g4 this is our uh, main idea here bishop e6 okay so now we need to understand this pawn on a2 is under attack the, this is the threat or maybe bishop d5 looks like a, a threat i think c4 makes a lot of sense because you also uh, avoid from bishop to d5 and also uh, some things around queen a5 or bishop a2 and just c4 avoiding everything and prophylactic move he played the move b5 wow okay so now we need to think a little bit what is this move so um he's threatening this c4 pawn and he wants to open our king right because the king is on c1 um hmm. interesting move that he choose to play i think d5 with c5 makes sense for me but maybe it's not so easy let's play d5 d5 c takes and we will wow this one okay i think now we can calculate in our head we will take this one he will take it we will take with check king takes and the round i don't know queen c4 check with rook takes d3 with double rooks on d or maybe queen takes d3 immediately yeah it looks good for us let's take it take on f7 now and now we should think right what do you think about rook takes d3 with rook d1 looks nice or maybe queen c4 
instead and to do it before i think just rook takes d3 makes sense because i just want to bring the last um piece into the the game so it looks like like rook d1 makes sense right also knight d4 interesting move um, but let's bring the the next rook into the game we would like to play with all our pieces uh, with, with all our pieces of course um, and now what to do now so queen c4 makes sense right because we want to develop another piece and the queen on c4 is better than our queen on c2 and now knight d4 we would like uh, to manage you know uh, to attack him so now what do you think now this is maybe a, a very important decision in this position and we we must think about it so first of all we had like we have knight takes c6 knight takes e6 knight f5 maybe looks everything looks very nice and um, but what is the best right so we we must think about it and it seems like our opponent doesn't have so much moves to play. I think king b1 is a very interesting move for, for us because, you know, the king on c1 is a little bit uh, in danger in some ways, in some variations. So let's just develop another piece, right, to improve his position, to king b1. We have time. It seems like black has no moves to play, right? You can see that he's not playing uh, important moves for now. And I think also g4 makes sense to to improve another uh, you know pawns here and also uh, to give very powerful a square on f5 so he's playing the move a4 uh, and now also i think a3 just to to remove everything here on this side of the board with a3 and now knight b5 looks just losing absolutely right knight b5 double attack here and it seems like we are winning the game, right? Knight takes d6. And now I will take the rook on e8. So we are up a rook. And in this position, of course, everything is winning. And we just need to win it. So let's do it. Rook d6. Um, yeah. So it seems like yeah, everything here is just winning. Let's bishop c5 just, yeah. Bishop takes c5. And queen takes. Yeah, well, let's go for queen d5. And uh, let's finish the game. So now it's probably not so interesting for you. Uh, but I will try to do it um, as soon as I can. Check. I think just check like this move. Right, and now check, check, and checkmate. So we won against Charles from England, the computer in Chesscom with 2000 rating. And it's really important for me that you will learn how to do it. You know, to uh, take the tips that we talked about in the last video about um, think about the opponent's threats, right? To develop your pieces. Um, to, uh, I, I don't remember already, but I will try to develop your pieces and to set, you know, to put all the, 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 the pieces together in work to think about, uh, you know, like to, to take all your army, all your pieces into their best uh, positions. Of course, another tip that was in the last video was about the time control, but of course, in this game, we don't uh, have time. So it was like just a game between us and the computer and we want him, you know, just realize and take it slowly. Think about every move that we played, how we, we you know, how we brought to ourselves uh, to the conclusion to play such a move and that's it so i really appreciate if you can like the video and subscribe my channel so thank you very much see you soon bye bye